Hey everyone, I'm Sabin, and welcome to the Board Game Vault. Today, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite little filler games, Sushi Go. Now, the reason I like this game so much is because it has one of my favorite mechanisms, drafting. Now, this takes that and really boils it down to the bare bones minimum. Now, let's take a look and see how it plays. To play the game, deal nine cards face down to each player in this three-player example. On your turn, you're going to pick up the hand of cards in front of you, choose one secretly, put it face down, and then pass that hand of cards to the player on your left. After all players simultaneously pick and pass their hand of cards to the next player, they simultaneously reveal which card they chose. The card selected will stay in front of that player for the rest of the round. Each player will continue doing this picking, passing, and revealing simultaneously until all hands have been depleted of cards. During the scoring round, you're going to score all the cards you have drafted in the previous round once you've done so, tally the score, and then discard all the cards in front of you for the next round. During the scoring round, every Nagiri would give you 1, 2, and 3 points, respectively. If you place a Nagiri card on top of Wasabi, it gives you 3 times that amount. Every 2 Tempora is worth 5 points, every 3 Sashimi is 10. For every Dumpling you have, you have a decreasing value of points. For every symbols of Maki rolls you have, the first player would get 6, the second most would get 3. These also come in 1 and 3s. Puddings, at the end of the game, whoever has the most pudding gets 6 points, whoever has the least gets negative 6. These cards don't get discarded as the rest of them do in between rounds. Chopsticks, if you have chopsticks out, you can take two sushi cards on a future turn. So there'd be a round of drafting, then a round of scoring, a second round of drafting, and a second round of scoring, and a final round of drafting, and a final round of scoring, at which point you would also consider the puddings. Uh, the one who has the most points at the end is the winner. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to say I give this game a 4 out of 5. It's a great little filler game. It introduces drafting to new players in a really great way. It's very streamlined, very easy to teach. Now, the artwork, yes, it's light, uh, but the game also is lighthearted and fun, so it kind of matches that style. Plus, it's an interesting theme. It doesn't come across uh, very often. So, yeah, this is a great game. Highly recommend it. That's Sushi Go.